Hey, it's not a wedding video, but it's a wedding videographer. My name is Jason Magbanwa, and I'm here to review, along with my cat, this backpack, camera backpack from Crumpler Philippines. <laughs> By the way, my cat's name is Naz. He's the family favorite. Crumpler is a bag maker from Melbourne, and they've been doing bags for a very, very long time. So the other day, Crumpler Philippines sent me a ton of bags to try out, test, and uh, some of them to review. And this is what I picked. It's a mouthful. Ang haba ng pangalan ng bag na to. This is the Creator's Road Mentor Backpack. Once again, this is the Creator's Road Mentor Backpack. Now, this is the bag I use because I really feel that this suits my lifestyle and the work that I do. Remember, I'm a wedding videographer. So, I travel all around the country, all over the world, Natch, okay, just so I can film beautiful weddings, all right? So, whether you're a videographer or a photographer or somebody who just likes to travel and then bring along his or her camera, this, I think, is the bag for you. And I really feel that uh, this is on the serious side. It's pretty big. It's 21 liters. There are some smaller backpacks which may be suited for you if you have less gear or like to travel lighter. Now, this one, it's around 1.5 kilograms without any stuff or equipment inside it. 1.5 kilograms, really, really not so bad. That's very, very light. The material for this bag is uh, completely of polyester with a very, very nice uh, finish. It's very tactical. It's very, it's very sleek. It's very clean. Um, you can use this for a shoot, maybe in, let's say, Pinatubo or Pora. But then, have it really tag along with you in a business meeting in BGC or... Uh, or Ayala, right? So it won't look out of place. It's still sleek in the urban environment and in the jungle. This bag right now is super packed and super heavy. Something I would take on a very serious shoot where I need all the equipment in one bag. So we're gonna go through this bag from the outside in. I'm gonna show you the external pockets and all the stuff that I crammed in inside the backpack. Once again, the Creator's Road Mentor Backpack in matte black. Okay, let's start with the front of the backpack. We have uh, a roll top on top and this is uh, secured by a magnet, a mag lock. You also have a zippered pocket right up front which takes up most of the front of the uh, backpack. There is no organization right here. But I did put a notebook. This is your uh, regular sized Muji notebook. And it also comes with uh, a rain cover for the entire backpack. Thankfully, hindi ka na ng extra for it. Unlike other some bag designers I know or bag makers. So that's what I have right here. I can put pens. I can put fita. Uh, I can put other stuff right here at front. There's no dimension to this, right? It's just a flat pocket, but there's a little bit of stretch, a little bit of give. So, um, yep, maybe you can pack in three to four notebooks of this thickness. If you like writing, that is, right? Also, both sides include a water bottle pocket. So for here, this is a regular sized water bottle. And uh, this is made of elastic material and you have a uh, mesh material right over here. I'm very, very wary about elastic bands like this because you don't know how long they will last. I'm just wary, I'm just careful not to put anything so thick there na hindi na babalik sa original form or original length yung elastic over here. So that's why for the past days, I've been uh, uh, using this slimmer profile water bottle and not my usual 24 liter takea or maybe a thick, a 30 liter teen canteen. I wouldn't risk it here. Okay, at the other side. Okay, I hope you are not too distracted by the feline right in front of me. Right here is another water bottle pocket. But instead of a water bottle, I mean, who carries two water bottles, right? I have here uh, my uh, wireless earbuds. This is B&O. Highly recommended. 
Let's take that away. And you also have two packs of Sky Flakes. Never leave home without it. Especially if you are not taken care of by the client or the planner on the wedding day. This will last you a couple of hours. This and water. Right. Okay, so we have the pockets over here. Let's look at the top. I know you guys are very curious because this design element, the roll top backpack or the roll top part of a backpack, uh, it's a very in the moment design element. So let's see how it stacks up to other bag makers who also make these kinds of backpacks. So again, it is secured by a mag lock. So madali lang siya tanggalin at ikabit, you slide right in, okay? And then it slides right out. I really love compression straps in bags like this here because if I don't pack it too much, I want it in a really, really slim profile, right? So one on each side. We open it. We roll it out. What do we have here in the roll top compartment? A shit ton of things. First, of course, we have, hey, it's the Philippines. You never know if it's gonna rain or not. What do we have here? A jacket, right? Anong tatak? Siyempre, Uniqlo. Natch. We have a full set of microphones right here. These are the Tascam DR10Cs. I have a couple of these right here, just inside. By the way, yung favorite mic brand ko, yung Dayty. It's on the camera that's shooting this video right now. Chargers, cables. Not the most organized, but what's nice about it is that Medyo light colored yung inner niya, no? So that means you can see the contents better, okay? Really, I'm a fan of lining na very hot yung color, like orange or yellow, because you see things right away. But silver, gray, it's a good second. We have two lights from Aperture. Also, one of the, band, uh, one of the brands that we support, this is the MC Light. MC stands for multicolor. This is yet to be released. Beautiful LED lights. They're app controlled. You can control what color it is in the spectrum. It has special effects like police sirens, fire, uh, party. And I will make sure to do a review of this, uh, of this light when the time comes. A, a review. No, no! Did he just step on the record? Okay, guys, uh, I just like to. Oh, no, this is my favorite record. Anyways, I would like. Oh, no, I hope it's not. Okay, anyways, I'd like to remind you guys to when nobody's listening, please just close this. Bad cat. Next, we have a uh, top handle for the camera inside. We have a Type-C cable for the charging of the battery of the camera inside. I have uh, the actual charger of uh, the battery for the camera inside. That's a lot of stuff, guys. That's a lot of stuff. Hey, let's see. Yay. And if you can see this, there are uh, zippers and pockets for internal organization inside the roll top compartment. Go, 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 go. Close this up. Roll it. Okay. And cinch it. Cinch it really well. Hey, my dear, stay there. As you can see, when you cinch it real tight, the visual size and actually the actual size of the backpack is really, you know, it just really slims down. Great profile, and uh, that's what you like in a bag. Looks great when full, looks great when empty. At the back, these are one of the major considerations for a uh, backpack, actually. And this makes or breaks a backpack, in my opinion, the straps. Uh, I dislike thin, uncomfortable straps because you don't want these digging in your shoulder, right? Your, your, your back for prolonged periods of time. Sobrang sakit nun, sobrang strain nun, and you don't want that. 
Um, and then conversely, um, you don't want it like real thick and padded because ayaw mo naman magbukang mountaineer, no? Nalalakad ka ng BGC or, you know, meron ka meeting tapos mukha kang medyo naka-life vest, no? You don't want that look. Like for me, it always has to be in the middle. Somewhere in the middle, it's padded enough that's comfortable but not too padded that you look like somebody who's about to drown, right? Okay. Now, uh, of course, meron tayong plus. We have a uh, sternum strap. Always, no, always. Don't take this for granted. Sternum straps are very, very important, especially if lumalampas na sa 12, 15 kilos yung uh, bit-bit mo. Okay? So, this is very important to evenly distribute the weight across your chest. Take it off your shoulders. Right? Now, very important as well. As you can see, here, under here, there's a pass-through. No, there's a pass-through. Uh, um, well, there's a pass-through. And you can put the... Um, okay, I need to show this to you. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay, there's a pass-through. Uh, and you can buy the optional, additional waist belt so that hindi mo lang na-distribute dito sa shoulders and sa sternum yung weight, but also dun sa waist mo or lalo na. For example, sa Hong Kong International Airport, yung gate na nandun ka, one, tas magbo-boarding na, pero nasa gate 35 pa and you have to run. Uh, sobrang important no mga support na yan. So you don't have to really carry the full weight no of what's inside. Now, very, very important guys. And I think this is really, again, one of the key features here. Look at that fabulous padding. You might take it for granted, but once again, look at this fabulous padding. It's super soft, great material, it has mesh. And what does that tell you? It tells you that, okay, uh, this is super comfortable to, uh, to carry for long periods of time. This is mesh. At least, nagkakaroon ng ventilation yung likod mo. Now, before I open the main compartment where the camera is, I would like to show you another zippered pocket. This one, it's uh, it's sort of hidden, but not really. There's another zipper. It just it's just the right size for a wallet, maybe a pen, maybe your boarding pass. In this case, I have a passport. There's another secret pocket. Pang baria baria dito here, right over here. One final thing. One final final thing. As photographers and videographers in the Philippines would say, one last, one last, one last, sir. One last, ma'am. Last na talaga. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and I will show you. Yup, it's in the other side. Okay, again, this is this design element is in the moment. Uh, you have here a USB port, okay, for charging your phone. Inside, I'm going to show you there's a cable which runs through this USB port. So, when you want to charge your phone, you don't have to open the bag. Meron na nakaabang na power bank doon. You just put your cable right here. And uh, you are uh, charging the your phone already. Et voila! Uh, last thing. <laughs> last, 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 last na po talaga. Okay. So, you have branding over here, as I told you. Uh, black on black on black. I wouldn't say this is waterproof, but I know for a fact that this is water resistant, right? So, wag yung luluglob, pero pwedeng maulanan ng kaunti. And in any case, meron namang rain jacket. Alright! Okay, so let's open this baby up. The details and specs in the website pertaining to this backpack says that this can hold up to a 15-inch laptop. And I'm going to tell you that the details and specs, in fact, are saying the correct thing. Because what I have right here is a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And guys, take note, ah, may extra padding pa yan, meron pang extra volume, uh, meron pang extra volume, volume, because meron pa siyang sleeve which I always use in my MacBook Pro because it's an expensive thing and I need to have it protected at all times. 
kabuhayan yan. So there, if you have an Air, if you have a MacBook, or if you have a 13-incher, sobrang mas kasya pa. Okay? So you can probably slide in another iPad. You have a mesh pocket right here. It's uh, it's a lens cleaner. That's about the only thing I could put right now. Okay? Because this area is so packed. If I put anything too hard here, it will hit anything that I am putting on here. So, medyo wala na akong malalagay dito. Masyado na uh, mga bagay. Right here, okay, <coughs> is another mesh compartment. See? And ito yung cable which leads to the uh, charging uh, USB port outside. So you can put your MacBook Pro, oh, sorry. So you can put your power bank right over here. And nandito pa yung tags, okay? Nandito pa yung tags nung uh, uh, ng backpack, no? Kasi hindi ko alam nung pinadala to kung kailangan kong isole o hindi. Pero gusto ko talaga siyang angkinen. So Crumpler Philippines, kayo nang bahala. All right, tags built for purpose. The Creator's Road Mentor Backpack in Black. So here you go. This is the main compartment of the backpack. Uh, I have right now uh, one, two, three, four, uh, four lenses, a lens adapter, a big body, uh, batteries, and one more charger over here. The padding is pretty secure. Uh, they're thick enough and. Uh, Dito sa mga padding na to, you can actually squeeze in things pa. Here, may compartments pa. I don't know what you can fit there. I wouldn't put an SD card there. Dahil baka mawala. Uh, maybe, you know, if you have thin batteries and just wanna secure stuff, kaya naman. Okay. It didn't fall. Anyway, so dito. Yan. Uh, all my batteries are here. I'm gonna go through this later. But what I want you to do is, hold on for a minute. I want you to have EQ. Be patient. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Okay. Now, this backpack is maybe, maybe at least seven years old. It's also by Crumpler. As you know, they've been doing this for a long time. I've been telling you that. So, this looks for me, after seven years, we use this a lot, especially uh, for, uh, uh, for travel, right? Now, what this tells me that these bags are going to hold up. This company has integrity. This company has experience, right? And a track record. They will not fail you. This actually is uh, made out of canvas. It's not even waterproof, no? Uh, but it's holding up pretty well. I believe right now, ang design direction ng Crumpler, they don't do crazy color combinations anymore. As far as colorway goes, a lot of it is muted right now. A lot of blacks, a lot of grays, a lot of beiges. I, that's the design direction. As far as the pro level or maybe the camera backpacks or camera bag, uh, bag collections are concerned. What I would like to show you though is this. And, and, and you like this because you know that they are learning. What I'd like to for you to take notice is that before, yung padding nila, okay, parang papel lang. No, it's so slim. There's no foam at all. It's like plastic with felt and a bit of Velcro and that's it. And my problem with the backpack before is that, you know, pupunoyin namin to. But because of uh, the padding were so flimsy, uh, the, the lenses would move around, would shake around. So when, when you open it, ang gulo, -gulo na nung bag. So I'm glad that uh, Crumpler uh, learned its lesson. Now back to what we were talking about. Number one, big body. This is mirrorless and this is what I've been playing around with for the past week actually. This is the Lumix S1H. Apparently, there are only 15 pre-production models all around the world. And one of them is in my hands right now. Thank you, Panasonic Lumix. Global Ambassador, Jason Mubano. What else do we have here? This is an L mount. Therefore, I need an adapter. This is from Sigma. I have a couple more Sigma stuff over here. One of my favorite lenses. Right now, 
the 1835 1.8 pretty heavy lens but super sharp what else we have a aha uh -huh, a 24 105 f4 and this is a yep okay this is a lumix lens specially designed for the camera malaki din but not as heavy as the 1835 and the granddaddy of lenses right here right now in this bag is a 5100 a bitch to carry but super nice super great creamy bokeh we also have batteries over here mm -hmm. and another charger over here on the left side all in one bag now if you don't use a long lens or maybe just use two or three lenses you still have up ample space maybe right over here for a second body i mean see that that's a lot of space that is a lot of space now when i packed this a while ago it was a total of 25 kilos can you believe that 25 kilos that's a lot of equipment oh by the way, I'm wearing flannel because uh, this is a tribute video to one of my favorite YouTubers and bag reviewers, Chase Reeves. If you haven't heard of him, please subscribe to his channel, Chase Reeves, right? He does excellent, excellent bag reviews. He is my spirit animal. I was going to tell you that... Uh, for, uh, for, for, for picking a bag, any bag, uh, there are certain things, as a professional, there are certain things that uh, you, you want to keep in mind. Of course, first of all, you, it has to carry the bag. The bag has to carry all your stuff. Okay? Keep it protected. Keep it from the elements. Keep it from other people. It has to be safe. It has to be secure. All the stuff that you're going to put in. So that's number one consideration. And um, a bag is a personal thing. Right? This may appeal to you. This may not appeal to you. It appeals to me so much. So much. I've been looking for a bag like this for quite some time. Uh, I want to go back to my roots of shooting alone, which I did last week, which I loved actually, which I loved. Uh, I've been uh, so used to shooting with a team, three or four people with me. I tell them what to shoot. I'm there as a director or I'm there as like really quarterback, quarterbacking everything. Um, and we, we bring along big bags, big rollers, pelicans, shout out raptor cases. Uh, we use that for weddings, but sometimes you just want to go out there and shoot. And it was very, very liberating, you know, having this and having everything I needed in one bag. So it's secure. Everything felt safe. Everything was padded. Everything didn't, nothing came out of place. You also want the bags to be stealthy. You don't want to catch attention. You don't want people, mga masasamang loob, to just say, ah, ah, that guy in the MRT or that guy in the mall, may camera yan, nakawan ko yan. You don't want that. You don't want that. You, you want to be low-key. You want to be low-key, under the radar. Nothing is stealthier than uh, a black backpack, of course. And it's also important to remember that, you know, we travel a lot, videographers, photographers, people that are in this industry, uh, to, to be able to carry on more than seven kilos, right? I mean, seven kilos, it's all that's allowed of you when you travel domestic. But, oh, come on, who, who brings seven kilos of equipment? Nobody, nobody, we're always over. The trick is, always, no? the trick is just to put everything in a backpack, not a roller, right? Not a roller, especially if you're doing Boracay, if you're doing Palawan, right? You have to keep a low profile, have a, have a small looking backpack and pretend that you're not pulling in 25, 23 kilos on your back. You just have to carry it like it was nothing, right? You're checking in, smiling at the uh, gate counter, the gate attendant, like, hey, good morning, going to Cebu. It's a fine day. Ayaw mong ma-flag na parang, oh my God, ang laki-laki ng dala mo, bakit ka naka-roller, four-wheeler pa? Actually, kanina, when all of this, no, all, all of this, including the laptop, no, was inside the backpack, it's like 25 kilos. 25 kilos. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I'd like to show you how it looks like on the back. 
right? It has to be stylish, of course. This has to be stylish. Number one, wag nating, wag mo nating aminin sa sarili natin. We buy bags for function, but they need to be stylish. Eh? They have to have pizzazz. They have to look good. This is how it looks like. Let me uh, strap it on and cinch it. Okay, right now, nothing is in the roll top, guys. Huh? Nothing is in the roll top. I took it all out. But all the gear is still inside except the MacBook Pro. Okay, so uh, this is the bag. I'm about 5'7". That is debatable. I'm gonna go down just a little bit. There you go, at the side. This is how it looks like. Tons of camera equipment. Walang MacBook Pro. There you go. Look to the left. Look to the right. Happy crumpler. Sad crumpler. Angry crumpler. Guys, that is a very long deep dive discussion of the Creator's Road Mentor Backpack. Please follow the Facebook page of Crumpler Philippines, named Crumpler Philippines. That's about it. Catch you next time again when I get to do one of these reviews of uh, gadgets, bags, what have you in the same channel, youtube.com slash Jason Magbanwa.